year when a shark attacks. The um, 1975 movie Jaws has vastly changed the way people view sharks. So how does this relate to us? Well, we live in Florida, and Florida is surrounded by water, which is home to various species of sharks. And I know we all think, oh, this is never going to happen to me, but um, Florida has the most attacks in the U.S. each year. Uh, this is a chart I found of the species involved in unprovoked shark attacks in Florida from 1920 to 2011. Um, the two largest ones belong to the black tip and the tiger shark, followed by the spinner shark at 16% and the um, hammerhead, hammerhead at 13%. Knowing how what to do during a shark attack can mean the difference between life and death. Well-informed people can save lives. So before I get into what to do before, it's best to know how to avoid one in the first place. Uh, first rule is swimming. Never swim alone. And do not take unnecessary risks. Know your limits. If you know you're not a good swimmer, then wear life vest. Um, do not swim near fishing areas. Sharks are attracted to the panic motion of fish. So, if there's fishing, there's probably sharks in the area, too. Um, know what you might possibly encounter. If you're going to go swimming on a reef, then you may encounter reef sharks, snow sharks, or other smaller sharks. If you're going to swim in the deep coastal waters, you may encounter larger sharks, such as the tiger shark, hammerhead, bull shark. And remember, there's always a risk. It's not our territory. So, if you're being attacked, First of all, you don't want to panic. I know a lot of people, that's going to be their first reaction. Um, but you want to stay as calm and still as possible. Sharks have um, an extra sense called the ampullae Lorenzini, which is located in their snout. Um, this sense can detect electric pulses in that all living creatures have. And the more you um, splash and thrash around, the more attractive they will be because they think you're an injured prey. Um, you want to alert others and let them know that there's a shark in the area and that you need help. Um, and you want to try and escape any way possible. If you can, try and hit the shark in the nose, eyes, gills. Those are the shark's sensitive areas. And whatever you do, don't give up. You want to keep fighting. You don't want to make yourself easy prey. Um, you want to obviously get out of the water as soon as you can and get medical attention, whether you have a scratch or a major wound. And then, <laughs> if you see someone being attacked, you want to make sure it's not a prank. You want to make sure it's not this dog dressed up in a shark costume. Um, you want to step up and be a leader. Timing is crucial. And you want to get the person out of the water. You want to stop and control all the bleeding. And you want to get them to a hospital. And you want to make sure that you can call ahead to the hospital, let them know you're coming so they can be prepared. And again, timing is crucial. That's one of my favorite quotes from my favorite movie, Finding Nemo. Um, although many people may not believe it, it's actually true. Sharks are not mindless eating machines. They are actually very curious creatures. And unfortunately for us, they don't have hands or feet, so the only way they can investigate is with their mouth. Um, and most of the time, they mistake us for prey. In the water, we may look like a seal, fish, or a turtle. And we need to remember that we're invading their territory. Um, so we should not be afraid of these creatures. We should do the opposite and protect them. So, back to Jaws. Um, this movie has scared people when it first came out. Many people were scared to go back into the water. And a lot of fishermen actually went out and hunted these sharks by like the t hundreds and thousands. Um, but fortunately, under the protection of law, they cannot be overhunted. Um, we have seen Sharks moving closer to shore, which puts them in more direct contact with humans. So we need to understand them and learn about their behaviors so we can respect them. And by
by knowing what to do during attack, um, your chances of surviving increases, which also allows us to coexist peacefully without fear of an attack.